Welcome to Device Setup, and today we will learn what to do if your Linksys Wi-Fi extender is not connecting to the internet, or not showing up in your Wi-Fi list, or shows no light, etc. So this troubleshooting guide works for all Linksys Wi-Fi extender models. So follow this guide to make your extender start working again. To start with, make sure you have internet on the router. If not, then get in touch with your internet service provider first. And if yes, then try plugging the extender with closer to the router, maybe in the same room. Now try connecting your phones or laptop to the Linksys extender network again and check if you still have the issue. If yes, then simply reset the Linksys extender. You can do that by putting a paper clip inside the reset hole of the extender for around 10 seconds while it is plugged in into the wall. After 10 seconds, release the pin and let the extender reboot. Also, make sure no ethernet cable should be attached to the extender. If you have any ethernet cable connected to the extender, then please unplug it. After successful reset, the extender's SSID will show up in your Wi-Fi list as Linksys extender setup. You can watch video on our channel on how to set up Linksys Wi-Fi extender again from scratch. So after setting it up again, if the extender still says no internet, then we recommend you to log in into your router and try changing the 2.4 gigahertz channels to 1, 6, 9 or 11. And just in case you are not aware about how to log in into your Wi-Fi router, then watch our video in the description on how to do it. Moreover, after this, it is recommended to reboot your router, modem and Wi-Fi extender. You can do that by unplugging all these devices from power for around 120 seconds and then plug them back in. If even after this, the extender is not working, then try updating the firmware of your extender and the router. Lastly, if even after the firmware update, the extender is not working, then log in into your router's Wi-Fi settings and change its security type to WPA2 or WPA3 PSK as sometimes WEP security or other security types are not compatible with the extender and I'm pretty sure following these measures will surely resolve your issue and if yes then please do consider giving this video a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel to support my channel. Also you guys can hire me for any technical issue related to routers, extenders, printers, security cameras or any other Wi-Fi devices. So you simply just need to email me your issue on fixallissues07 at gmail.com and I'll fix it for you on very nominal charges. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.